I'm so happy to be over here once again, wishing you a very happy and a grace-filled Christmas. The season of Christmas is on us once again. The streets are decorated, our homes are lit up, the Christmas tree has been set up over there, the Christmas star is hung outside our windows, Christmas carols are being sung, and the whole Christmassy atmosphere is once again upon us. The Feast of Christmas reminds us of the most significant event in the history of the world. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem over 2,000 years ago, God sent his only begotten Son to redeem us, to save us, to bring us back to the Father. This one event, the birth of Jesus, has transformed the world completely. With Jesus' birth, God becomes a definite, irreplaceable part of human reality. And then we have Jesus' message of love, his life of reaching out to others, his passion, his death, and his resurrection. All this flows from the crib. All this, as it were, is contained in the crib because the shadow of the cross is already here in the crib. But Christmas is a feast of joy, of light, of victory, of peace. Because after the birth of Jesus, we know for certain that God is in the world. And therefore, there can never be total darkness. There can never be total despair. There can never be total hatred. Love will overcome hatred. Light will overcome darkness. Goodness will overcome sin. God will overcome evil. We, you and I, by receiving Jesus into our lives, into our homes, have got to be God's agents and instruments of bringing light, peace, love, joy to all those in need. That's the joy of Christmas. That's the meaning of Christmas. That's the call of Christmas. A very happy Christmas to you. May God's love, peace and joy come in your lives, your homes, your communities. God bless each one of you.